Hello everyone, welcome to AI Anytime channel. So in this video, we are going to look at BERT score. So this video is going to part of our evaluation series of LLMs and RAG. So I have created a playlist on my channel that's called evaluation of large language models and RAGs, retrieval augmented generation, where we are covering different algorithms, approaches, frameworks, and techniques to evaluate your rag approaches or the rag system that you have built or you are building and also on the evaluating uh, large language models so far we have seen uh, v8 score uh, diversity demographic analysis for biases we have also looked at some of the other uh, frameworks like giscard for example which helps you you know find out uh, uh, the performance issues in your rag application or with your large language model our last video was based on a very new uh, model that has been released by Vectora. Vectora is an LLM builder. It's a platform that 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 has created some techniques like grounded generation, etc., to basically control the hallucination rate. So they have come up with the hallucination model. And our last video is based on that. That how you can use Vectora open source hallucination evaluation model that will help you evaluate. So these videos like that I'm creating is really helpful if, if you're working for an enterprise. Because your client will be really serious about evaluating and uh, uh, mitigating the hallucinations, finding out if the responses are accurate, etc. Enough of building racks and using different LLMs. Now the things are getting serious about how are you going to evaluate these approaches. Now, in this video, we're going to look at BERT score, which is kind of where we'll have. I'll show you that so that you can see on my screen. Right, I have a uh, my uh, tab open, and let me uh, start. Uh, explaining that how you can use BERT score and for what kind of use cases. So BERT score will help you find out the traditional you would heard about the word like precision, recall, and you know F1 score. If you are familiar with uh, statistics and machine learnings, right? I mean we have seen this earlier when we have worked with the uh, classical machine learning algorithms. Okay, and that's what we're gonna you know find out in this video. There are multiple ways you can you know. Uh, Calculate BERT score. One can be completely from scratch. The other can be using libraries that are already there. And we'll just look at the BERT score library. But you can also do it through, you know, uh, through transformers, and you can build it from scratch. Okay. Now, here in the BERT score, guys, what happens? It, it basically understands the contextual, you know, uh, similarity between the generated content or the generated text and the reference text. Now, imagine this can help you in uh, when you have built a rag, so you have a LLM generated response and then you have the original response. You can just use BERT score to find out uh, the uh, precision recall and F1 score. Now, this is not going to only help you on the evaluating racks, uh, like the final response. It can also help you on the chunking strategies. Now, the chunks that you have created, you can compare that created chunks with the uh, original content that you have. So, this is a recommendation by our hyperscalers, the cloud providers that if you are not getting accurate, you know, responses in RAG that you have to look, start looking from your chunking strategies, then the retriever, which vector database you, you use and what kind of algorithms and approach you have taken to retrieve the content or the chunks from a vector database and then you feed it to a large language model. So in the entire workflow of RAG, you can use BERT score, mover score, rouge, BLU depends what huge cases you are solving so if you are solving a uh, translation problem then you can look at different approach if you are some working on summarization you can look at blu for translation you can look at rouge and for uh, chatbots you can look at bird score so if you have a conversational interface where you don't you are not returning a large content or a large set of text bird score has limitations one of the biggest limitations of bird score is that it it does not you know work good for the longer content okay the longer text it will work good for few lines of sentences if you have and that's why i'm saying it you can utilize that in your conversational interfaces okay now let me just show you that what happens so now suppose you have a generated text uh, let me just write it here generated generated text and then you have your uh, original or referred or whatever okay original text now let me just change the color of it okay so you have your generated text and then you have your original text now suppose for example if you have your generated text as the very famous the the 
क्विक ब्राउन फॉक्स जम्प्स ओवर दी लेजी डॉग नाउ सपोज दिस वी हैव सीन इट अर्लियर लाइक लॉट ऑफ एक्सपेरिमेंटेशन ऑफ ए आई नाउ दिस इज योर जेनरेटेड टेक्स्ट नाउ यू हैव योर ओरिजिनल टेक्स्ट विच इज लाइक फॉर एग्जाम्पल ऑफ so you can see a quick brown right so i'm removing the word quick and i'm saying okay a fast brown because we are going to look at the contextual understanding it's not the keyword similarity right that word score that we're going to use it is for the contextual understanding between the or the contextual relationship between both the sentences now here what i'm writing is a fast brown fox leaps over a sleepy dog there was a lady and there is a so if you look at the meaning of that right very similar okay from uh, the context uh, standpoint that right, is very similar now if you have these two sentences you're going to keep these two sentences and then we're going to use our bird score thingy on top of it right we're going to calculate uh, using the bird score library now suppose if this generated text is coming from an llm okay that you have this this from an llm and this is your original content that you have in your document or your database wherever right and how can you use bird score as an extra validation layer uh, in your rag workflow that will help you if you really concerned about your accuracy you can build an ensemble evaluation techniques using bird score using mover score using lot of other techniques and the good thing about bird score is that you have the control over the customization ragas etc are more of a qualitative measures this bird score provides you more of a quantitative measure okay where you get a quantitative number the way we used to work with classical machine learning but the ragas the gpt score the gpt eval they are more of a qualitative nature okay and they most of them don't work with open source llms that's also a problem now here the steps is the first step that we have to do is that convert convert both the generated and reference text into bird embeddings so we want to first going to create an embeddings of these two sentences and th why are we doing this guys because this we are doing it to you know basically capture the contextual meaning okay so capture the con textual capture the contextual meaning of each word or phrase okay of each word or phrase this is why we are doing it okay now the second point is now once we have this embeddings we'll compare this embedding these are the second step these are the only two steps that we're going to focus here compare these embeddings to assess the semantic similarity to assess the let me just write to assess the semantic similarity okay now this is what we're going to do here right so the output will be let me just write an output then we'll go into the code thing we'll we have a jupyter notebook that we're going to write our code today and on output we're going to look at precision recall and f1 score so f1 score is nothing but it's an harmonic mean of these two okay so it's an harmonic mean it basically basically provides the balance now precision is something that how much of generated so you, you have this generated or uh, generated text by llm right how much of generated text is semantically semantically similar to you know this reference or original text this is where i'm going to look at precision now recall is something that how much of the reference text it's captured okay by the generated text semantically so how much of you know the reference text okay this reference text you know it has been captured by this generated context or the generated text and that's why it, i think it's really powerful right now this is what the bird score is i will share you the screen grab of this in the maybe through a link in this youtube video description if you need that you can get it but i hope you got the point right now so this is what i just wanted to give you a quick uh overview of bird score theoretically now let's move in and start writing our code here guys now you can see i am on a colab notebook and what i'm going to do is i'm going to install a library called bird score so pip install bird and this is what i'm going to do here so i'm just going to do pip install bird score let's do that
let me just bring up my monitor what did he say there is an issue with the monitor not pip ah okay this is not bird score i think it's hyphen there that's fine let me just bring up okay uh now we have this so let me just do one thing now what i'm going to do here is from from bird score import score and so now for example let's have that this is our generated text and we're going to use the generated text from the same uh same example that we have taken so generated text and let me just it takes a python list and in the list what i'm going to write is the quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog and then you have original text and in the original text what i'm going to writing is that a fast brown a fast brown fox leaps over a sleepy dog now this is what we have seen when i was explaining it right so now this is so we have a generated text and then we have an original text here now what i'm going to do next is let's calculate the bird score so let me just write calculate the bird score and here in the calculation of the bird score i'm going to write p r f 1 and score and in this i'm going to write candidates so what candidates what it okay generated text mm, generated text original text language english verbal i think this is fine you know the uh generative ai in collab is really smart so you can see the generated text original text and the language is english okay so i'm writing language english because you're going to use a bot model here so language is english and let's keep the verbose equals to true for some kind of descriptions if required and now let's run this generated text and the original text now if you see what we are doing here we are passing this generated text and the original text and then we have our language which is english for this particular uh, sentences that we want to evaluate and you can see it says computing bird embedding and then computing greedy matching and it's done in 0 0.40 seconds now that's also a problem with bird score if you really want to do it for if latency is an issue for you i think bird score is really compute intensive okay that's also a disadvantage of a bird score i'm creating a video it doesn't mean that i'm we're only going to talk about the pros and not the cons so the bird score has a couple of uh disadvantages one it's based on the bot model okay so if probably it, it will work if you are, if you are using a transformers model works good for open source thing and then uh it also it's very compute intensive so latency and the infrastructure might be an issue and then the third thing is what is the third thing does not work good for the larger sentences or when you have a bigger set of corpus you know that you want to evaluate now what i'm going to do next is let's print it guys so print and i'm going to say okay if and then precision and here precision let's get the mean value of it okay so p dot mean this is right to recall r dot main and f1 dot main okay now let's run this and see and you can find out the score here right precision is around 0 0.97 97.97 almost same for uh all of this right so oof. now let's let's try it out a very different sentence like ai is the future of technology or something like that and then let's talk let's keep the same thing okay and you can see the score goes down right but so the here is you have when you are choosing a threshold value the higher the value means the contextual similarities are closer in the nature and you can find it so that 
you have to be really careful when you put a threshold value that on 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 top of which you are going to make your decision right 90% might be a good threshold value for smaller sentences okay because bird score is anyway not going to work for the larger sentences right it it does not work it also has some context uh, uh context window that you cannot exceed that i think it's 512 if i'm not wrong but but this is one of the one of the way you can evaluate your llms and rags okay bird score in the upcoming video we're going to use uh, look at the rows and blu and the mover score as well that how we're going to use this already available algorithms or the techniques to evaluate llms and rag so this piece of code will be available on the same github repository of evaluations of llm and rag where you can find this uh, notebook as well we already have a couple of other notebooks that we have created videos recently so that's all if you have any questions guys on this or thoughts or feedbacks please let me know in the comment box you can also reach out to me through my social media channel and i hope you like the video if you like the content i am creating uh, please uh, share the channel with your friends and to peer and if you haven't subscribed the channel yet please do subscribe the channel and please hit the like icon to like this video okay uh, that's all for this video guys you know thank you so much for watching see you in the next one